Hey everybody, back with a, another video. I wasn't actually going to make a video on the centipede, but then I got into it and started um, finding something interesting, and that's usually when I like to film, is when I have something maybe interesting or unique to show. So anyway, just to catch you up, um, I had picked up the centipede probably a couple years ago, and it's been sitting in various places, um, not working for probably a couple years or something. But now I finally um, have some time to work on it. I went ahead and um, this is the original PCB. I'll talk about that. Anyway, I went ahead and started uh, looking at it today. I actually looked at it and I think filmed some stuff over at my brother's house because that's where it was initially. And I tested the AR2 um, and I hooked up my TPG and I wasn't able to get any picture on the tube brought the tube over here um, put it on the rejuvenator and actually all the guns were pretty much showing no emissions and I brought that back to life and it looks great on the TPG now and then I would um, I powered it up and wasn't getting anything in test mode so here's a test mode there with the original P PCB wasn't getting anything in test mode and I, I happened to have another um, centipede board that I've never tested that I put in there and I got um, in test mode three beeps which is a bad RAM I replaced that put it back in no picture so that's where we're at I have the uh, PCB at the bench and I'm going to go to the bench and kind of start to investigate um, it, it actually was playing blind in non-test mode after I fixed that RAM issue um, but there was no picture on the tube and I know the the monitor is working so that's where we're at. Um, I have a PCB on the bench that plays blind with a known working monitor. So let's go to the bench and take it from there. All right, so here we are at the bench and I already have it kind of connected somewhat, but basically the only thing you need to power up these centipede boards on the bench, at least to get video, um, bare minimum stuff here, no, no audio and stuff, is hook up ground to a power supply, hook up plus five volts. And what was is interesting is if you when I was looking at the schematic, actually I'll show that here without hopefully a too much of a shadow there. Um, you can see that you know here's your blue, green and red. And if you trace those back they come into this A9 uh, chip over here. Um, but also, coming out of A8 is basically you know, the, the same three colors, um, I guess, getting combined or something. Um, and it, yeah, they all get combined together to form a video out, a black and white video out, which is what you see here with this vid test point right here there's a vid test point and a ground test point there for video and so I actually have a com composite um, video on my TPG uh, TPG on my PVM monitor there so I can actually hook up like to Space Invaders boards and stuff like this and get black and white just on a composite um, without using red green and blue and I had looked into I just did a quick Google search on in, on Clove and you know, common failures is this A9-7407 chip. Um, so I can actually bypass that 7407 with just looking at the black and white as an example. But that's what we're going to test. I don't, we're not getting any video signal. At least that's the results inside the cab. And then I want to power it up with just using 5 volts and... Uh, composite uh, black and white video output and I think even the sync is on this which is kind of strange I don't understand how that exactly works but we can test the sync as well there's actually um, a vertical sync test point and a horizontal sync test point and the the centipede board actually puts out composite sync as well um, I already kind of figured out where those are it's actually at the composite sync is at right here on R73, um, on this side of R73 right there. So I will show this on a tripod real quick just to uh, show you what it looks like on 
the PVM monitor and then we can start troubleshooting the circuit put it on the tripod but I guess it might just be easier to show it here so turning on we got five volts I haven't even measured it actually um, and there there's our centipede playing in black and white mode it's interesting that this is uh, kind of bright right there that copyright symbol for for a little while it's kind of strange let me turn off the light yeah, you, you can see it much better now but now I can't see. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. After after a while, all of a sudden the picture gets brighter. <laughs> like it takes a while maybe for the for the PCB to warm up and then you have proper illuminance there on the copyright symbol. But if I turn down the contrast here, where's it at? There's my contrast. Yeah. So that looks pretty good. I mean, it's playing and it's in black and white. And I do not have any sync hooked up at this point. So pretty much we know at this point that, you know, our video signal is actually good through A8. And now we know that the problem is in this area, most likely A9. But I'll put A9 on a scope and look at it. And I'll also hook up, um, basically I have some t um, jumpers here for my red, green, so I can do RGB, red, green, blue, and uh, separate sync. And I'll hook those up so we can actually look at what that looks like as well. Be right back. But the good thing is the PCB is working. Okay, real quick, I'll just show on my PVM here that right now I have it set up for... Uh, input sources um, is line not RGB if I connect it to my RGB input you can see there's no signal because I don't have RGB ho hooked up um, so we take that off and if I use external sync I love this PVM monitor by the way if I use external sync you can see we have no sync and if I take my sync jumper and connect it to this side of R73 like that now we know our composite sync is actually working because the the monitor sync now um, using the sync that's from the board so we know that's working as well um, just very simple test there by being able to use external sync or use the sync that's already on the composite uh, black and white video so there you go now what we need to do is on our, I basically already color coded this and it's from, I just traced it from the schematic here. So I just looked at R63, R61, R65, ohmed out which side was ground and then just put a, a color dot by each one of them so I can easily hook up my RGB. So we need to hook up red, there and blue I might do this off camera <laughs> as I'm holding the camera here I guess I'm almost done here and green so this I mean I like doing it this way instead of building a JAMA adapter if I can I mean I just do just enough so I can get actually a signal and now if we hit we're on external sync and if we hit RGB and external sync oh we actually do have some colors which is kind of interesting huh what happened why is it working now <laughs> all right does that look right am i still missing a color hmm I have to investigate now. I was not expecting to see that. Let me see if I disconnect my... Yeah, you guys can't really see the colors very well. There's definitely color to it.
Interesting. I disconnected my video signal, but if I connect this, I think it's changing. Let me see. No, it's not changing, so that's definitely not... I have my PVM set up correctly. Huh. Looks pink. All I see is pink right now. I don't think that's the right colors. Interesting. Hmm. Alright. Let me come back and think about this some more. Or put it back in the... Actually, I had... I was pressing buttons here and I didn't have the right one selected so I had component video I needed RGB and now the colors look right I see green pink I'd have to put it I don't have the ability to put it in test mode because I don't actually have a JAMA um, I think if you put the slam switch you can actually get color bars and stuff but based off of this it's looking um, it's looking good so maybe I should put this in the just uh, back in the cabinet and see. I guess that's... Should I do that? Alright, so I have the board plugged in. The monitor is hooked up. And if I turn it on... I still don't see an image. Can I coin up? Oh yeah. Probably let me hit play. Yeah. So... It's definitely playing, but no image. No image at all. I don't know what's going on. And you can see that there, the monitor is definitely on, and I have proper brightness. I had already adjusted it. So let me take this monitor out and test the video continuity to the cable that I'm using to connect to the monitor. I think this is going to be... A, a dumb, a dumb right, one. I actually already see, see my my problem, but I figured I'd show you guys. Good God, I thought I was like, oh man, this is interesting. Let me do this black and white thing. All right, so I set my uh, meter to continuity. Um, put my pin. I'm just going to test the red on this um, video connector here. So I'm just going to put my. My meter in there. Let's see, easy way to do this. There we go. And then I'm probing. Can you see this somewhat? Right here, yeah. Um, and I'm just looking to make continuity to red, which I know is one of these right here. I think it's this one. And I have no continuity. So I was looking at this connector and I realized. I'm going to have to take this off, I guess. I realized that this connector and this connector actually need to be connected to each other. So the, there's like a 6-pin Molex or AMP connector um, that comes from the PCB. And this is actually a damn adapter that goes from the 6-pin AMP to like a no normal... Uh, Molex style connector, which which is was not connected. So let me connect that back and check continuity again. I think I found my problem. Why right, I connected those two amp connectors together, and now I'm getting continuity on my on my video pin. So that was the problem. Um, so anyway, I do have the PCB that originally came in here um, is not working. So I will be able to do a video on that one on the bench. So it's not all for not I guess um, but this PCB appears to be working I don't remember if I bought this working or condition unknown from like an eBay auction had one bad memory chip let's see if, uh, if it right, works so you know that's a light uh, that dot right there but we're powering it on for the first time now Do I get an image Okay, my, I have no sync. My sync's messed up. Oh, I probably have to adjust the, the horizontal sync, but I do have an image, so let me pull the monitor out and get it adjusted and put it back All right. in. So I got everything adjusted, let's see. 
There we go. I'm on player two, obviously, here. But yeah, it looks looks normal, as far as I can tell. Put it in test mode. Yeah, so I'll have to mess with it it's some more, but anyway, this video is over. Trackballs need to be rebuilt and stuff, but it's uh, the buttons are everything's working. Power supply. I didn't even have to do anything to the power supply or anything, but uh, PCB was bad. We'll come back with a different video on that. So, anyway, this at least shows you how to hook up the uh, composite RGB and um, black and white video options to get it, a centipede board powered up on the bench. And for you know, <laughs> it's never too never ceases to amaze me like the simple things just ohming out connectivity that was why i wasn't getting a video signal i didn't actually have the cable connected i'm not about um, subscribers so. and liking and all that stuff but if you if you do like my videos obviously uh, like it and subscribe to the channel but i'm never going to monetize this channel or anything like that i just film stuff that i find interesting um as i go through this arcade repair kind of stuff so Anyway, hope you guys enjoy these videos. If not, um, don't watch them, I guess. And if you do, like or subscribe. Thanks.